Today in Rome, the faithful celebrated the 75th anniversary of the vision of the Virgin Mary in Rome. It is known as the Virgin of Revelation. Locals call it the Virgin of the Three Fountains because fountains are near the area where she appeared. In 1947, an Italian man saw the Blessed Virgin several times. Nine years later, Pope Pius XII appointed the construction of a chapel on the site. And joining us now from Rome is Andreas Townhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, thank you so much for joining us. And some in our audience may not be familiar with these appearances by the Blessed Virgin. Can you tell us more about them? Yeah, thank you, Eric. Uh, as you can tell, many people are here with us in Tre Fontane at the outskirts of Rome. This place is actually famous because St. Paul was beheaded around here, but it's also the site of what many experts refer to as the most interesting Marian apparitions in Rome. St. Pope John Paul II named it Holy Mary of the Third Millennium of the Three Fountains. Three Fountains means Tre Fontane, hence the name of the place. 75 years ago, on this very day, it is believed that Mary appeared here. The Vatican has not officially recognized this apparition, but also not denied it. Pope Pius XII allowed a shrine to be built at this place. He gave custody to the Franciscan Conventual Friars Minor and blessed the statue of the Virgin with the green mantle or veal in St. Peter's Square. Today, there's a big anniversary celebration taking place right here. The vicar of Rome, Cardinal De Donatis, is, has presided over Mass just a few moments ago. The Pope has been invited as well, but in the end, he could not come. But still, for Rome, and actually the global church, this is a little-known but increasingly important Marian shrine. Many miracles are being reported that could be traced back to the shrine of a Lady of the Revelation. Oh, it seems beautiful out there. And why was the timing of these appearances so significant? So maybe a little bit of background to the shrine as well, because after the Second World War, Eric, the 33-year-old Bruno Cornacciola and his three children saw a lady of the Revelation in this cave just a little bit behind me there. They simply took a walk around here. And Bruno actually was not a very nice person. He was known for beating his wife, and he basically hated the church. He, he was even plotting on murdering the Pope at that time with a dagger. The first one of his children saw light coming out from the cave. And when Bruno finally went there, all three children were kneeling and staring into that dark cave. He couldn't see anything. And later he described it as an apparition that came suddenly. A beautiful lady with a green veil that identified herself as the Virgin of the Revelation. And she said to him, you persecute me, enough of it now. Enter into the true fold God of fold God's kingdom on earth. She also asked him to pray the rosary every day. And she said, in this place of sin, I shall perform wonderful miracles for the conversion of unbelievers. And this place here has grown more and more popular for Romans, but also for other people coming from far and wide. As we celebrate the 75th anniversary, is there a message for the faithful and others in this day and age? Yeah, so this apparition is, not, is, is very current, but not only because of the anniversary today. Uh, we're in the Holy Week right now, and the message of Our Lady here is to pray and repent, like in Fatima. And like the visionary Bruno, we are called to turn away from our evil ways. And this is something that also Cardinal De Donatis encouraged the pilgrims here to do. And the confessional chairs, they were all filled with people before and even throughout the Mass. But also the war in Ukraine is present here and the prayer for peace, because Mary said in this place that ultimately divine love will triumph in everything. And it's this hope that brought hundreds, possibly thousands of people here to the outskirts of Rome, witnessing the 75th anniversary of the apparition of a virgin of the Revelation. Mm, beautiful story there. Andreas Townhauser, EWTN, Vatican Bureau Chief, thank you very much. Thank you, Eric.